Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. Today I'm going to show you how to update your MacBook Pro. I have a MacBook Pro Retina 15 inch early 2013 and I'm running macOS High Sierra, which is macOS 10. I've been using this computer and I'm happy with it. If I want to install an update, I just do software update. I'm expecting Apple to give me the latest update for this laptop. And you can see here, no updates available. I'm keep running my computer thinking that it's fine, that I have the latest software for this computer, but that's wrong. I have an iPhone 6s here. I'm going to go to settings, general, about, and here you can see that I'm running iOS version 10.3.3. If I go to software update, Apple is going to tell me that I can update up to iOS 15.7.8, which is the latest iOS I can install on this iPhone. Apple is never going to offer me to update to iOS 11, 12, 13, 14. No, it always going to go to the latest iOS possible on the device. My question to Apple is why the laptop doesn't behave the same way as the iPhone. We're talking about consistency here, right? I'm expecting the same thing to happen on my MacBook. That's why when I click software update, I'm expecting Apple to tell me what is the latest macOS version that I can run on this laptop. But that is not happening, guys. I only get no updates available. I say, oh, okay, so maybe I can update to macOS Ventura. Let me click on it. I'm gonna click download and it says we could not complete your purchase. This version of macOS 13.5.1 cannot be installed on this computer. All right, so what version can I install? What happened if I surf for Big Surf? macOS Big Surf. Do you see Big Surf here? You don't see Big Surf. How about Catalina? macOS Catalina, right? Do you see Catalina here? I don't see anything. How about Monterey? I don't see macOS Monterey. The second question to Apple is why you don't show the macOS downloads on your Apple Store app? How can you don't show it? I mean, I'm searching it here. This is the place to search for apps, right? I'm searching macOS Monterey and you are not showing it to me. So I'm going to have to go to Google. If you search on Google for macOS compatibility, the first result is going to be Mac sales. Okay. It's called eshop.maxsales.com. I'm going to put a link in the description, right? So here, guys, you're going to select your model. In my case, it's a MacBook Pro. And here you're going to see what Mac OS you can install on your computer. So this is pretty much the general model, you know, ready enough 15 inch early 2013. If you want to be more specific, click on system report. And here you're going to find the model identifier. So copy this MacBook Pro 10,1 is pointing out to this computer, 15 inch mid 2012. So in this case, guys, we don't have the early 2014. We just have mid 2012, late 2012, and then we have late 2013. As you can see here, the late 2013 goes up to Big Sur. The Retina late 2012 just go up to Catalina, okay? So in this case, we're gonna be able to upgrade to Catalina. Okay? But that's not bad, right? Because we are in High Sierra and we're gonna jump Mojave and we're gonna go to Catalina, okay? Okay, so we need to download macOS Catalina. There's another page from Apple that is pretty good. macOS compatibility Catalina. Catalina. We're going to go to Apple support. macOS Catalina is compatible with these computers. And then MacBook Pro. So we find that MacBook Pro Retina 15 inches early 2014 is compatible with Catalina. Maybe you have doubts that you might be able to install Big Surf. You're going to search macOS compatibility Big Surf. And it says macOS Big Surf is compatible with these computers. You can see MacBook Pro late 2014. I am early 2014. That's why I don't qualify for Big Sur, but I qualify for Catalina. So let's download Catalina. How can we do this? You're going to search for download macOS Catalina. So the first result is Apple again. We're going to click there and it's right there, guys. And now it's open it on the Apple Store automatically. We didn't have to do anything. And you're going to click download and it's going to download. OK, guys, so you can follow the procedures and you can install Catalina on your Mac OS. OK, every time you want to install a new Mac OS, my recommendation is to always have a backup of your current operating system. In this case is High Sierra. How can you create a USB drive of High Sierra? I'm going to show you. 